Folks, Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. We continue to race toward the coming empire and economy of the Antichrist. We know according to scripture, during the coming beast system, the coming empire and economy of the Antichrist, there will be a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human being on the planet. It's going to control all buying and selling. Now the current system that is in place, this must crash in order for a new system to rise. The age of cash is coming to a rapid close. The age of a digital currency, a one world digital currency is rapidly approaching. And that's why we've seen that currently over 90% of independent countries have recently run uh, pilot programs or just finished pilot programs for a uh, central bank digital currency. And 11 countries have currently uh, dumped their previous form of currency and are now using a digital currency as their main form of a currency. This current system, folks, it is getting ready to collapse. And that's why we see all over the world them getting ready for the next phase that's going to bring about these uh, digital currencies. And I had to share this one with you today. Uh, many different sources reporting on this. I'm going to share with you some of the recent articles I just came across. This is just in from Market Times. The IMF launches a digital currency for use by banks around the planet. And this is just in from Kitco. Unicoin, a global legal tender settlement, CBDC, unveiled at the IMF Spring Meetings 2023, which is currently being held in Washington, D.C. And then this, Justin, IMF unveils Unicoin, a global CBDC. Let me read some of this to you. The Digital Currency Monetary Authority known as the DCMA, an agency under the International Monetary Fund, IMF, uh, today, this is referring to yesterday, announced the launch of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, for use by all financial institutions on the planet. The launch was made official during the spring meeting uh, between the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, which is currently going on until in Washington, D.C. until April 16th. In a press, the DCMA describes its proposal as the Universal Monetary Unit, UMU, or Unicoin, created to carry out transactions in any legal tender. The note adds that it functions as a CBDC to enforce banking regulations and protect the financial integrity of the international banking system. To use it, banks integrated into the SWIFT interbank payment system will be able to attach codes and bank accounts to the UMU digital wallet and from there carry out cross-border transactions. It means that the system is available to the more than 11,000 financial institutions uh, in the SWIFT system and in more than 200 countries. In case you guys don't realize how major this is, just to recap what I just said, they just unveiled a global CBDC, central bank digital currency, right, during the uh, spring meeting that is currently going on in Washington, D.C. until April 16th. And again, the Digital Currency Monetary Authority, the DCMA, describes its proposal as the universal monetary unit or unicoin to carry out transactions in any legal tender. This is huge, guys. Do you realize the significance of this? We see very clearly that this current system is about to completely collapse, and it must in order to bring about a new system, the coming empire and economy of the Antichrist, where they're going to have to be able to track every single human on the planet. 
And the, the system, again, is going to be, be able to control all buying and selling. And you cannot do that with the current system in place. That's why you need a digital system that's going to be able to track every single human on the planet and control all buying and selling. And that's why the world is getting ready with these central bank digital currencies. And we see this one that they just launched, a global CBDC. They're getting ready, folks. And if we see them getting ready for the coming empire and economy of the future Antichrist, and we know the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture of the church? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified, and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, it's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.